Hey, Mark Nelson! Today, I want to talk about you are what you speak, and you need to watch what you are saying. These words, you have to watch and be careful you aren't saying these as you're growing your business. Hey, I got a great free giveaway today, so hang on to the very end. I'll show you how to get it. Hey, if you're coming on replay, do a hashtag replay. Tell me where you're coming from. If you're coming on live, hit live. Tell me where you're coming from. Hey, this I was on a training today, and this is where this is coming from, from Justin Glover, and I'm on a 14-day challenge. This is day six, and the dude is just on fire. Uh, he takes a lot of these things from what uh, a good friend of mine and his, Ray Higdon, and this is Ray does a 14-day challenge. Hey, Charles, how are you doing today? Glad you're here. But here's how this training started, and I, and I was trying, I was kind of zoning out. You ever, you ever do a training that you kind of zone out, and you're not really paying attention, but you are, you're listening, but you're not really listening? And he started talking about acronym, about the words. You have to be careful about what you say. And all of a sudden I heard, here's this acronym, fuck this. What did he just say? Fuck this. This. F-O-C-D-I-S. Now, I'm a high school teacher, and the word that I thought I heard, I hear once in a while, and we have many discussions about it. But here's what this is, and it's so true about this acronym. See, because when you're building the business, what you do is you plant seeds all the time. So you planted this business, you're growing this business, and you're planting a seed to grow this business, and all of a sudden, this acronym, see, the F stands for frustrated. The O stands for overwhelmed. The C is confused. D is disappointed. I is it's not working. And S is stuck. So let me talk to you. See, because you're growing your business, these seeds. And all of a sudden you get to a spot. And I've done it. I've, I've done it. I've, I've talked about affirmations and how they help grow your business but these put they stop this seed down when you get to something like I'm building a new funnel and you know I can stop it right in its track because our mind's so positive if I say I am so stinking frustrated I can't get this thing to work well guess what I'm telling my brain is that I can't make it work so I got to rephrase that it's that I know I don't have this funnel working, but I'm learning so much that the next time I make one, it's going to be so much easier. See, I'm going to tell myself, I'm going to talk to myself and bring myself up to the positive part of this. So overwhelm is probably the most, most used word. And if you're becoming an online marketer or a home business owner in this, and if you're part-time like I am, right, most of us start this business part-time is that there, there's just times you say, oh man, I am so overwhelmed. I have so much stuff coming at me. I don't know if I can ever get this done. Well, guess what? You're planting this seed. You're planting a seed to grow, but you're stomping that seed because you just told it that you don't have the mind to overcome things. Now, that's crazy. So again, this acronym is FOC DIS. F for frustrated. O for overwhelmed. C for confused. D is disappointed. I is it's not working. And S is stuck. You have to stop saying negative words. Because you know what? You are what you speak. You are what you speak. So when things are challenging... You have to just re-say things. Man, I am so close to turning this thing around. Holy cow, I am learning so much in building this business. I am going to succeed. <coughs> That's what you need to keep saying. to me. You can't say the negatives. As soon as you put the negatives, what's going to happen? Hey, Charles, thank you very much. I, I, I am right because guess what? This old dude, this young dude, I've stomped myself down so many times because I would get challenged. And because I teach high school kids, I hear them say this all the time, and I help them rephrase what they're saying. 
because many things that were just brand new, we're just learning them. You know, we're just putting the seeds in place to learn these things. So when things aren't working or things just aren't making sense, guess what? You're just in a learning pattern. The best thing about it, if you are building a business, when you learn it, you can turn around and teach. You can say, man, this is where I got, oh, I'm not, I almost said it. This is what kind of slowed me down. I'm not going to say stuck. This is what kind of slowed me down. I just had to figure out what I was doing. So you got to be careful what you're saying and make put it in fruitation. Keep telling yourself it's going to happen. Hey, this really doesn't have a lot to do with what I was just talking about, but it really does. I have a great free PDF for you called the 10 tips on how to do a Facebook Live. Facebook Lives are just amazing. If you want to grow a business, you got to be doing it great in Facebook Lives. And they're very simple tips, but when you hear them all, they just, oh, that makes so much sense. This is what I'm going to do. So if you would like those 10 tips, type a tips down below or shoot me a PM. And what I'll do is I'll shoot you. It's a free PDF. It's just a no opt-in. I'm just giving it to you. I'm helping you out grow your business. So, hey, peace out. I got to go. Be careful what you say. I am amazing. I am on my way. I am extremely creative. I am building my business. I am going to be a six-figure earner. That's what you tell yourself. So take care, Charles. Thanks for coming on. I will shoot that to you as soon as I get in front of my computer. Y'all take care. Bye.